apolitical doesn't mean you're not political because you can never escape the political i have always said that in my fan fiction why because i am apolitical but no matter what politics always affects someone even though they are not interested in politics because politics stands for opinion and when you think about it any form of opinion affects the masses if you speak loud enough and when you think about it as well well basically when you think <laughs> i'm sorry I keep repeating the same thing over and over again. And in, in a way, that's a political. If you think about it, that's what politicians do, right? Politics. That's what they do. They say things over and over again, even though it doesn't make any sense. Now, politics. Ooh, politics. Isn't that an interesting idea? What makes me say that? In my fan fiction. My fan fiction isn't just ooh Jojo, ooh superheroes. It tries to reconcile both the wacky, the bizarre, the weird with politics. Why? Because I critique politics. I am a political science student. That is my job. <laughs> well, it's not my job per se, but I've always been interested in calling out the mistakes of current politics. I've been very careful though. I have been avoiding um, a lot of very dangerous names. Not to call out any names. But here's an interesting thing. Here's an interesting fact. By being apolitical, the Philippines ends up, well, no, 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 it's the other way around. The Philippines tries to be political, but by being that, it ends up becoming apolitical. <laughs> Look at how the last election happened. Not the last election, the last, last election. Have you ever heard of, I, mean, I can't say the name though, hmm. How can I say this then? Oh, let's let's say it this way. Um, the Philippines has repeatedly voted, elected a lot of not saying that the current leaders, um, you know, terrible a terrible choice. But the Philippines has a bad historical track of. Picking leaders who they think is the good guy. But when you look into it, when you look into research, it, they're not. <laughs> they are not the good guy. In fact, a lot of the Filipinos disdain this person. But why do they pick this person? Let's see American politics. Why do you guys like Mr. Blondie or Mr. Oldie because it attracts something called controversy. Now, this is going to be a critique on politics when it comes to controversy, okay? So, I'm not that good. This is just a theory, this is just based on observance. It's theoretical, it's not science. Well, it could be science, it could be turned into science. But when you think about it, what makes. I'm not saying he's a bad person, I'm not saying he's the worst choice, but what makes Trump so admirable to the public eye? Why? He manipulated something called the no show paradox. The no-show paradox, okay, I've done research on this. One research journal is not that much. But basically, it's the idea that when you vote for someone, 
a bunch of other people decide not to vote. But and by not voting, it could help manipulate the results. Now that doesn't make any sense. But if you usher a lot of people to not vote like you, because you just hate both both of the elect uh, of the electees, electorials, electors, the elected. Not saying that they should be hated. Not saying that they're bad guys. But in this particular sense, if they have an undeniable disagreement with these two people in office, the no-show paradox could be considered as a device for them to win. So, how did these politicians essentially win? Controversy. Magmura ka, or say the bad word in Filipino. Say a bad word in, um, in news, in the news, or do some aggressive acts online, or maybe aggressive acts in real life, or maybe you insult someone straight in their face on YouTube, or on any media site. Be loud, be angry. Be annoying. That is what the people love. To hate or hate to love. Why? Well, essentially, I'm not that good with the science of this. But when you think about it, the no-show paradox has an effect to this. The no-show paradox is basically you just avoid doing the thing in order to get a better result for the thing. For example, voting. You just avoid voting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you do avoid voting, because you hate the two guys in office, what happens? Well, that guy doesn't win. Well, that guy gets lo- get loses a lot of support. And often or not, in American politics, also in the Philippine politics, the no-show paradox can be seen not as something detrimental but it's functional i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm saying that it's key to you to winning the election basically i'm not saying you should be disliked by the public i'm saying you have to be louder than the others the other electi electories elected whatever In the 2016 election, the the president at the time won by a landslide. Why? Social media. He was loud in social media. I don't know what to call this theory, by the way. But it's just a theory. A game, no. But you understand, right? He won. Why? He, he, he became relatable in social media. He danced the music. He made fun of things and that and this. He said very, very terrifying messages online and media. Why? To get people's attention. The louder, the better, right? It's always been like that. It's all, it has always been like that. And whoever is the loudest, they win. That's just how I see politics. Is that a bad thing? Well, no, because... That's just our life. It's our livelihood. Do I agree with what they're doing or what they were trying to do? No. In fact, my family agrees with them and I don't. Or sometimes my family doesn't agree with them and I do. Why? Because they spoke the loudest. Because they yelled the loudest because they swore the loudest because they are hilarious because they're funny because they have that that zing to them they have that and boy do i want that but i can't because i am apolitical (laughs) i don't want that i don't want to be I don't want to be like them. Do I want what they have though? That charm they have. Machiavelli. 
Well, yes, I do. I do want that. That's how you survive in daily life. That charisma. Charisma is the word. What is the point of this video? Well, the point is... Listen to the small guy. I'm kidding. <laughs> the point is, that's basically how you win politics, in my opinion. And that this is why I feel like you shouldn't care about politics nowadays. It's a joke. And you think about it, politics used to stand for something. It stood, it was dirty indeed. But look at figures like George Washington, Andres Bonifacio, Abraham Lincoln, Rizal even. They were just trying to build a society. They were just trying to build something out of all of this. Out of all of these, all of these fights, all of these revolutions. And look what we're doing with it now. <laughs> we're fondling it like a ball. Like a delicious ball, ball of balloon or something. And then until it pops. When it pops, what are we gonna do? Chaos happens. And you can't do anything about it. Except another revolution happens, right? Is, is, that what, is that what the people want? Well, no. I believe that the ICC has that covered. The problem is, when you think about it, the Philippines isn't in the ICC. What does that mean? Interesting, right? Can't say anything about that. But if it's any solace, if it's any consolation, I am a political. I don't care for politics. I don't want to care. But in the end, politics gets me, you know. This is a political video. And the fact that I am standing or sitting right now on this chair talking to you guys about it means I have been sucked into this politics.